Well, welcome to this afternoon to our Friday and final daily visit with God for the week. And as I said yesterday, we're going to still be in Job chapter 30, and uh, this will be in verse 1, where Job 30 and verse 1 says, But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. And it seems like it's the nature of man to always dream of how it was in the past. Uh, we've talked about that already this week, haven't we? Job isn't any exception to this. And in the midst of his affliction, his eyes, uh, he cries for days gone by. Uh, and of course, he wishes for the health he once knew and pines for those days when his children were set about him. And what man doesn't look back at uh, with fondness at those times uh, when he possessed the strength of his youthfulness and owned the joy of his children laughing and playing at his feet. Now, um, I'm in my, um, well, I guess I'd call it the senior year, 62 years old now, and with my children grown and they have families of their own, I can only watch them and reflect when it was me in their place. I don't look at my sons without seeing in them the, the little boys that they once were. But Job's circumstance was much more extreme than mine. His children were taken from him in a violent death. Um, his case was worse than simply struggling with the pains of advancing years. Job also recognized a, a difference in society and culture in general. Young men did not possess the same respect that they once had. He saw more than a test upon his own person. He saw his society as a whole being tested. Aren't we in those sorts of days today? You know, I'm old enough now that I think I see the same things on our society and culture in which, and the culture that I live. The morals of George Washington, that George Washington lived his life around the code of manners that in, uh, that in no small part made him the great leader that he was. They're mocked and laughed at today. Few people care to practice good manners of any kind of sort, let alone manners kept with the strict discipline uh, of a man like Washington. The strength of youth um, is elevated upon above the wisdom of age these days. Young men force their will upon large groups, and the groups, it seems to me, like want it that way. The, the wisdom of Solomon's counselors is cast aside in favor of the brashness of the inexperienced. Indeed, there is nothing new under the sun. Job lived in a day just like ours. So that's our final uh, visit, a uh, daily visit with God for this week. Uh, next week we're, uh, will be probably late. I won't have Monday and Tuesday, almost certainly. And uh, so we'll look forward to seeing you again next week.